<clears throat> okay, well, hey, uh, hello, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, uh, welcome to another semester, another uh, uh, another year, and uh, another session of History uh, 109. All right, well, I'm Professor Cañedo, or uh, El Profesor, if you want to uh, 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 go ahead and call, uh, call me that, and um, I'm very happy to and very excited to be uh, uh, to be with you guys this semester as we take a look at uh, modern U.S. history from a variety of different perspectives, but focusing focusing mainly on uh, on labor themes, uh, society, culture, politics, and anything else in, in in between. So we have a wide panorama of stuff to uh, to cover. So without further ado, everybody, let me tell a bit more about some of the things we'll be looking at, and along the way, of course, I'll say a few things about myself. Now, as the semester progresses, I'm going to be making the various videos covering many, many different angles of the class. Uh, I'll make videos for the vast majority of some of the assignments coming down the line. Um, and the first video I'm, I'm going to make for you that'll be coming up uh, pretty soon will be about the podcast journal assignment. So just a quick heads up, if you have an iTunes account, you can get to it, no problem. If you don't have iTunes and you're a little bit leery about iTunes, uh, not to worry, not to panic. You don't have to, it's not going to cost you anything. You don't, don't have to... Uh, um, a shell out uh, a st a stuff to uh, to get this information. You do enough of that already getting the textbooks for this class and for the rest of your classes. Uh, but in my next video, I'll talk a lot a lot more about what the podcast assignment is all about and what you need to do. But for for now, let me go ahead and say a couple quick things about myself, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit about the class. Uh, usually my videos, and for those who are with me in the history 101 class, you know I have a tendency to ramble on my videos. Uh, uh, can uh, range upwards of 15, almost 20 minutes. So, uh, so just be aware of that. Uh, I guess this is a habit I picked up from uh, my on-campus sections, in which uh, I, I give long introductions. I get into uh, and uh, but by the time I finish with all the introductions, the announcements, and uh, and some other uh, bureaucratic and nuts and bolts stuff, uh, 20 minutes has already passed, and I'm already about maybe 10, 15 minutes behind in talking about the actual lecture material. So, uh, in a sense, it's a bit of a carryover from my uh, on-campus days. Uh, <clears throat> All right, but uh, as uh, 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 besides teaching this class, and as, as I mentioned, I've taught the History 108 class. I'm also doing History 124, History, History of California, also online, and I do, I'm doing some stuff for uh, for Mesa College in the Chicano Studies Department, and also for Southwestern College. I have a couple of uh, Mexican American Studies classes. In fact, I've got a uh, uh, I've got an on-campus section in National City at the National City campus for Southwestern starting next week. I haven't taught in National City since uh, 2001, actually, so I'm really anxious to see the changes that have taken place in uh, National City. And interestingly, National City is my old hometown. I was born and raised there. I used to live there right up until the summer of uh, 2012. I'm, I'm actually out here in uh, Riverside County in the Italian community of Winchester. It's uh, just to the north of Temecula, uh, uh, west of Lake Skinner, east of Marietta, and south of, uh, of, of where, 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 where Hemet is in Diamond Valley Lake, uh, that region. Uh, so it's a growing community. It's uh, really uh, mushroomed in about the past uh, past the ten, ten, 10 years, and I wouldn't be surprised if down the road Marietta or Temecula, or maybe even Hemet, tried to uh, swallow this up and make it part of the city. But that's pro that probably would happen for another row. Uh, uh, five, ten, seven years, uh, uh, seven years down the road. I really enjoy living out here. So even though I'm uh, far away from a civilization, it, it, it seems Temecula and Murrieta are the uh, largest uh, cities uh, near, 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 nearby. Uh, I really like it out here, and I don't really miss National City all, all that much, even though that was my uh, my home base for the for the better part of uh, well, I don't want to date myself, but I will for for the better part of uh, forty plus uh, years. Okay, uh, in terms of uh, education, background, and interest, and all of that fun stuff, um, my, uh, I have a master's degree is, is in Latin American Studies from San Diego State, and my BA is actually in Anthropology from UCSD, so local, uh, uh, local colleges, uh, and uh, same of course goes for high schools, uh, uh, a, lot of, a lot of my schooling was of course in National City, and then in Chula Vista, Hilltop Middle School, and Hilltop High. Go, go Lancers! All right, as for teaching interests, I really enjoy covering all sorts of topics, whether it's in U.S. history, California history, uh, Chicano history. Uh, I'm, really, I'm really interested in things such as uh, U.S.-Mexico relations. I'm going to see a little bit about that in the class when we typically analyze the events happening in Mexico with the Porfiriato. That's so when the U.S. really got involved in Mexico with uh, economic affairs. So the power program coming up is going to uh, focus in on that. We're going to see what's happening to uh, some of the uh, Chicanos in Los Angeles with the uh, infamous zoot suit rights during World, during World War 
one uh, period, and we're going to talk a lot about labor. One of my heroes is the legendary labor leader Walter Ruther, who is an icon in uh, in, in late labor history, was a big influence on Cesar Chavez. So we'll see a little bit more about the life and times of old Walt Walter, uh, just uh, a little bit down the road. Politics too, we're going to get into quite a bit of that. Uh, I'm a big fan of, of covering Watergate, so we'll, we'll take a look at the antics of Mr. Nixon and a diplomatic crisis, too. We're going to uh, take a look at the Cuban Missile Crisis with, the, uh, with, uh, with Kennedy, Khrushchev, and Castro and all, the, all those guys coming up, uh, coming up down, down the road. Um, as for things that I'd like to do uh, beside, besides teaching my outside interests, uh, I don't really have a lot, lot per se. I'm not a daredevil in which I get into a lot of off-road uh, things, uh, 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 working on classic cars. I mean, uh, I, I'm a big fan of automotive history, but with respect to uh, working on cars like someone like, like Jay, Jay Leno like, likes to do it, and, uh, and my, my uncle William, who uh, spends a lot of time at the uh, auto museum at, at Belbo Park. Um, for the most part, my main outside interests are... Uh, uh, are uh, our uh, uh, music, classic music of the 1970s and 1980s. Uh, I'm talking, of, I'm talking about the uh, rock and roll bands like Aerosmith, uh, Motley Crue, Steely Dan, The Eagles, Bon Jovi, Iron Maiden, all of the, all of that good stuff. ZZ Top. They're actually playing in my area pretty soon. I'm looking forward to uh, checking out the uh, boys from from Texas. And uh, uh, as for sports, of course, the uh, big game is coming up soon. But I'm really not really uh, too much into that. I'm a big fan of the National Hockey League, so I was really thrilled to see all the uh, all the big stadium games. Of course, the Ducks and Kings had one, and the Rangers and the uh, Devils had another, and then the Devils and others coming up pretty soon, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. And baseball, uh, I love the Dodgers. I'm sorry, Padres fans, but being out here in Riverside County, I get all the L.A. news, so uh, uh, you can't help but, but follow the uh, uh, the exploits of Adrian Gonzalez, uh, Yasiel Puig, uh, Don Mattingly, uh, Clayton Kershaw, and all of those guys. But I also love the Detroit Tigers too, and uh, I'm looking. And hopefully, uh, it'll be great to see both those teams get into the World Series. They almost made it uh, uh, this past fall. Maybe they'll uh, they'll, they'll meet in uh, this this coming uh, fall classic. And lastly, my my uh, my other main interest is a. Uh, um, is my, my feline friends. I have three. I have three, three cats, uh, two Persians, and one and one big white albino cat. And uh, during the course of the semester, don't be surprised if some of them decide to uh, to join me as uh, I'm, uh, as I'm recording here. In fact, I would be surprised if my great Persian London stops by. So if she's in the vicinity, uh, I'll have her come in and say hello to everybody. And when I make some of my out my videos outside, as the weather gets as the weather warms up more toward the end of the semester. Don't be surprised if uh, my outdoor felines, Nick and Sniffles, uh, come over and, uh, and, and uh, say uh, uh, buenas tardes, buenos dias, and uh, all that good stuff. Okay, well, that's enough about me at this point in time. I'm sure the semester progresses when I have more of the videos or, uh, or, or I post all the announcements right there on Blackboard. I'll say a few things about myself, but I just wanted to quick give you a quick character sketch uh, 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 about myself and uh, give you a sense of... Uh, who the uh, who El Professor is, uh, his interest, and where he's uh, coming from, uh, that type of thing. Okay, let's go ahead and spend the rest, the remainder of the video, talking about the uh, class. And uh, undoubtedly, you've had a chance to look over things, look over the syllabus, and uh, <clears throat> you know what the expectations are. You know what what the exams were. Let me quickly go over a lot more of those key points as, as one and clear up some things that maybe the syllabus doesn't quite uh, clear clear up. All right, let me talk about the textbooks. Uh, you have to, so make sure you pick up. Uh, Who Built America uh, by, uh, <clears throat> by by Rosen, Rosenweig uh, and uh, uh, and uh, ser 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 several uh, several others L Lichtenstein uh, and then the other one is the uh, uh, Voice of the People textbook, which is actually a collection of primary uh, source primary documents of the voices of the people of the actual laborers giving their testimony at various points in U.S. history. The first part of the book has a 19th century history, which we're not covering, so we're skipping some of the early, uh, the earlier passages. But the about three quarters of the book will, will cover as the semester unfolds. So again, make sure you get Hubel, America, and Voice of the People. Those are the two books that you'll be needing for the uh, course of the semester. <clears throat> okay, let me uh, quickly move over, uh, and and, uh, and I'm using my, uh, my my big iPad to to look at the at the syllab at the uh, syllabus here. Make sure I get all this information taken care of. All right, let me quickly talk about the assignment. I'm sorry, the quizzes and the and exams first, and then I'll quickly go over the assignments. Okay, uh, the assign the uh, the assessments, the 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 exams. 
uh, they come in two forms. One is the weekly quizzes, and uh, you're going to have some of those starting up uh, at the end of this week, in which you're going to have 15 quizzes total, not counting the prologue quiz, which is a practice one. 15 quizzes in, in which uh, it's a covenant, it's a uh, it's a series of uh, multiple choice questions based upon the Who Built America readings and the PowerPoint programs. And in Blackboard, you've had, you have access to the uh, to the study guides for for all of those. So make sure make sure you you have those. And in fact, I highly recommend that you have the study guides with you as you're going through the readings in each uh, chapter in Who Built America. Uh, the quiz will be open for a one week period. You have about a two hour time frame in which to complete the quiz. Uh, you can take a break, but the timer doesn't stop. So when you start a quiz, let's say at a uh, at 9 p.m. Uh, Saturday evening, uh, you've got two hours to, f to finish it. So at 11 p.m. Saturday evening, the timer stops. Uh, you can't go back into it. But if you do budget your time wisely and you uh, uh, and you take it for about a, a, a 45 minute uh, frame, take a break for 10 minutes, come back and finish off the rest, that's fine. But again, remember everybody, the timers do not stop on all, on all the quizzes. You can take breaks if you wish, but limit them to no more than five at, at, at the maximum to 10 minutes and then get back to your quiz uh, immediately. At the end of the semester, uh, your average of score, your average grade of 15 quizzes is going to be tabulated in, into Blackboard. Now the final exam is different. These are a series of uh, short essay questions and I'm, going to, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm actually going to give you the uh, PDF copy of the final exam in February, about the mid uh, second or third week of February. So this way, as you go through the readings, you can uh, decide what questions you want to answer and at the end of the semester, plug in your answers into, into Blackboard. So it's basically an exercise in which uh, as you're reading, uh, the quest, uh, and it's a, it's a choice of questions. Choose a question you want to cover. Don't, you don't have to, uh, I'm not asking to answer all the questions on the, uh, on, on the exam. Choose the ones you want to work on, compile your answers, uh, do that as the semester unfolds. And then by the end of the semester, May 31st is deadline, uh, submit your answers into Blackboard. So between the final exam and the quizzes, uh, those make up a, a very, very good portion of, of your total grade, 35% altogether between the final and the quizzes. Okay, let's talk about the writing assignments and, uh, and also the podcast assignments. All right. Uh, one of the first assignments you have is something called the Voice of the People document set. So this is where the Voice of the People book comes in. At three points of the semester, you turn in a document set in which you answer a series of questions from the Voice of the People book. I, I broke down the, the readings into uh, three chunks, uh, three series of, uh, of, 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 of various re readings. And uh, after each reading, there are uh, study questions. Uh, at the end of each reading, in, in Voice of the People. So answer those, put those in a, in a packet, make it a, uh, a Word or an Apple Pages of format. Either of those formats is fine, PDF is good too, and send those in to me at the three points in the... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that, but I think I need a cup of, another cup of coffee. Uh, <clears throat> don't be surprised if I run over to the kitchen and, and, and grab it. <coughs> okay, I think I'm all right now. Um, so the due dates for that are March 7th, April 11th, and May 9th for the uh, Voice of the People assignment. I'll, I may give another video about that, but maybe it's fairly self-explanatory. So if I don't give you another video about that assignment, I'll of course say more about that one of the announcements on the, uh, on Blackboard. Okay, uh, the other assignment you have is the book review assignment that's also due in May, May 21st. Uh, choose a book pertaining to the uh, scope of the class, but within that's listed in Voice in the Who Built America. At the end of the of each Who Built America chapter are a series of suggested readings. You have to choose a book from one of those suggested readings. So don't go off the reservation, so to speak, and uh, and get a book you think might might might, uh, might 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 work. Make sure it's listed in Voice in uh, Who Built America. Uh, and once you decide which book you want to work on, let me know immediately. So. Uh, so I would, I would suggest that I think after the spring vacation, that's, that'll be about the best time in which you can start informing me about your choices, or maybe right before that. So maybe I would say about late March, early April, let me know what books you want to work on and tell me which chapters in Hubble, um, in, uh, Hubble America those uh, uh, readings are, are listed in. All right. And, uh, okay. And like I said, this one is also due in May on May 21st. Other thing that's due in May is the PBS video review assignment. I'll make another video about that coming up sometime uh, next month or early March. And here's where you, uh, you, you, you have two options of watching PBS videos. Um, you can watch one of the American Experience programs. I have the links to the various programs uh, listed on Blackboard. Uh, watch two of those 
or watch one of the president's programs. The president's programs are much, much longer. Those are in the vicinity of about uh, almost three hours to close to four hours, but you've got a wide variety of presidents to choose from uh, in the 20th century, whether it's Ronald Reagan, George H.W. Bush, not George W., this is the father, George H.W. Bush, Jimmy Carter, uh, Bill Clinton, that, that's a very good one, and uh, then you have the ones from the earlier parts of the, cent of the 20th century, like FDR, Harry, Tr and, uh, uh, Harry Truman, and Richard Nixon, too, and LBJ. Those two are, are definitely some of the more compelling figures you can do. So again, for the PBIS assignment, uh, option one, choose two of the videos I, I have that are, that are posted in, in, uh, in, in Blackboard, or choose one of the president's videos. That's option, uh, uh, option two. And as the semester progresses, on my YouTube page, I've got reviews of a lot of the videos, but I'll make a few more video reviews about those, some of those programs as the semester uh, unfolds. Okay, uh, let's see. We covered book review, the uh, PS review, and the, uh, the, the voice of the people assignment. Oh, and the podcast journal one, I'm going to make a separate video about that exclusively, so I'll save discussion about that for my next video, but that's but that's one thing you're going to have to be working on very, very soon, so when I rejoin you guys ver uh, within the next day or two, I'll go ahead and talk more about how the podcast journal works, but again, just give you a quick heads up. If you have iTunes, an iTunes account, you can get to uh, uh, the, uh, the podcast. This is from a professor in uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Harrisburg Area Community College. Richard Moss does a great job of explaining various aspects in, uh, in both modern and early U.S. history. So if you have iTunes, you can get to Professor Moss's podcast uh, easily. Just, uh, just follow the, uh, the directions I, I have listed in Blackboard. But if you don't have iTunes and you're kind of leery about iTunes, uh, don't worry about it. When, you, when I make my video about that, That'll explain better of what you would need me uh, need to do. Okay, let me get out of the uh, the assignment section. Uh, oh, 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 that's I knew there's one one thing that I need to mention. Let me quickly do that right uh, right now. Class participation. This is going to make up a good chunk of your twenty percent total, and it's going to be done in two formats. Um, the the first format is the forum discussions. We we have three big topics to talk about at the end of the semester. The end of the semester. Uh, I call these the big three. Uh, it's the U.S. auto industry. It's the uh, it's immigration. Of course, that's still a big issue uh, with the Capitol Hill, with uh, President Obama, uh, Boehner, Cantor, Kevin McCarthy, and, and all, all those all those people. Harry Reid, you name it. We'll talk about that, and also uh, popular culture with 1980s music vi music videos. That's one of my more favorite parts of the uh, of the class. And being a child of the 80s, uh, you could probably un understand why. But I'll give you another video about this uh, within the next. Uh, uh, I would say uh, sometime in, in, in March. I'll talk more about this, but again, just to give you a heads up. Uh, we're going to talk about three, three, uh, three aspects in, in U.S. history, society, and, and culture, and we'll have these discussions at the end of the semester, in the last month of the semester, coming up in May. But the one thing that's going to be starting right away, we'll start that next week, the week of February 3rd to 7th, is something called Town Hall. I'm going to give you a weekly topic in which you give me your impressions, your thoughts about the topic. This topic is contemporary. It has to do with uh, local issues, state issues, uh, and national issues. So whether it's an issue happening in San Diego, we'll cover it. If it's happening in the state of California, we'll talk about it. U.S., we'll talk about it. Even international, we'll talk about it too. It can be on politics. It can be on popular culture, sports, you name it, whatever is popular, then we'll go ahead and do that. Since the Super Bowl is just right around the corner, I'm leaning toward making our first town hall topic about the Super Bowl. And I think this whole brouhaha with uh, Richard Sherman, uh, Michael Crabtree, all that fun stuff, seems like an interesting topic. So don't be surprised if I make that for our first town hall topic coming up next week, the week of February 3rd to the 7th. And uh, when I introduce the topic uh, next week, uh, in Blackboard, in the announcement section, and in the discussion board, uh, too. I'll have more details as to how that's going to uh, unfold. So again, between Town Hall and Big Three Forms, those constitute 20% of the class grade, so participation is essential. If you want to get a uh, strong grade in, in, uh, uh, in, in the class, I definitely want to hear from you, and I definitely want to talk to you about many, many issues uh, pertaining to not just the U.S. itself, but local and state ish issues, too. Uh, definitely a lot of state issues having to do with things such as uh, the environment and, of course, drought. Uh, we may co cover that. And local issues. San Diego, of course, uh, you guys are going to get a new mayor pretty soon, so don't be surprised if that's a, a topic a, a, as well as uh, Kevin Falconer and David Alvarez do get out very, very soon. 
All right, so that covers the class. I hope this uh, answered any questions or clear, clarified any uh, lingering doubts or confusion with respect to anything related to the scope of the class. Uh, I know I undoubtedly missed a few things, but whatever I missed, I'll cover in another video or mention it in one of the upcoming Blackboard announcements. So with respect to the class, you got to keep track of the announcements. I'm going to post about at least uh, two, three, three per week giving you a sense of what's, what's due, what's coming up, what you got to be looking out for, what you need to what uh, talk to me about, uh, blah, 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 that, that type of thing. So uh, between the announcements and, and my videos, those will be my, uh, I guess you could say, my window to the outside world to let you know that, hey, uh, uh, I haven't forgotten about you guys. Uh, this is what's coming up. So uh, so make sure you get this and, uh, and, and you'll do just fine in, uh, as the semester uh, progresses. All right, so that's it from here. That's it from my Winchester headquarters. So uh, hope the first week is, is, is going uh, going well for all of you. And uh, definitely best of luck, not only this class, but in all of your classes for the for the semester. All right, so happy to, uh, to be with you guys these next uh, 16, 17 weeks. Uh, I'll be talking to you quite a bit as semester progresses. And I'll be back with you very, very soon, within a day or two, uh, with more discussion about how the podcast assignment works. So you guys take care, take it easy, best of luck, and I'll talk to you guys again very, very soon.